What up YouTube, Salvador Brigman here, and today I'm showing you how to set up an online crowdfunding platform or website using WordPress. This could be a website similar to Kickstarter or Indiegogo. It could also be a website that's more similar to GoFundMe or even a nonprofit fundraising website like Razoo. I'm gonna show you how to do that using WordPress. The reason I wanna show you with WordPress is because it costs a lot of money to hire a team of developers to really work around the clock and set up a robust, secure website. Obviously, WordPress is secure, but if you're going the venture back startup route, you need a lot of money to be able to do this. So rather than making that huge investment on your own or getting investors, you can prototype an initial version of the website of the crowdfunding platform using WordPress. It's really simple. You can start to get users, start to get traffic, and then you can either show that traffic to investors or you yourself can decide from that point, okay, now I'm gonna invest money in this business because it's worth it. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Bluehost. This is what I use to host all of my different websites online. Uh, you can use any kind of hosting provider, to be honest, that you want, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be using Bluehost. You'll see here, they have a very easy one-click WordPress install that's gonna make it really simple in a little bit. They also come with a free domain name and they actually, I don't think they had this when I signed up, but they apparently have a 30 day money back guarantee. If you have already purchased a domain name on GoDaddy or on oneand1.com or some other domain name provider, you are going to need to transfer that domain name to Bluehost or you're going to need to assign it to your account. So I'm first gonna show you how to do that. So I registered my domain name uh, with oneand1.com and I'll show you what the assign tab looks like first in Bluehost. So you have this tab here on your domains, you're gonna assign a domain name and then you're gonna type in the domain name that you have. I believe mine is killer product reviews. This isn't really specific for a crowdfunding platform. This is a site I'm considering starting and seeing how it goes. So for the purposes of this tutorial, we can use it for the platform. So the second that I type in this URL, it says step two, you must verify ownership. To verify dom uh, domain ownership of killer product reviews, please point the name servers for the domain name to this and this, or, and they give some other options, ways that I can verify ownership. Now, the first time I saw this, I was like, wait, what, what? <laughs> you know, I had no idea what they were talking about. But over the years, I've started multiple websites, I've started online forums, et cetera, multiple blogs. So now I'm very familiar with this process and I'll show you how to do it. So basically, I registered my domain with oneand1.com. What I would do is I would go into my domain center for oneand1.com. For one and one, this is what it looks like. If you did another type of host, it might look something different if you registered with it with GoDaddy or, or something like that. You have my domain here, killerproductreviews.com, when it renews, all that kind of information. What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the DNS settings. So I'm gonna click that, it's gonna load, and we're gonna have it show the name servers for other name servers. So right now it's assigned to one in one name servers. I, I realize that might not mean anything to you, but you just really have to know how to copy and paste if you wanna fo follow this tutorial. I make it really simple. So basically gonna copy those two things into these two lines from the Bluehost Verify Ownership. So NS1 Bluehost, we're putting that here, and NS2 Bluehost.com, we're putting this here, and then we're gonna hit Save. Are you sure you want to edify, edit the DNS settings? Yes, we do. And then it's probably gonna take at least, I don't know, maybe six hours, could be longer, to actually propagate and update that. So it will take time for those changes to show. So for one day, usually what I do is I would change that and then the next day I would go back into my account and then I would do this process again and then it will say, we verified ownership of your domain name. So that is sort of step one here. In the next steps, I'm gonna show you how to actually install WordPress. Then we're gonna get a theme up and running and a bunch of other stuff, so stay tuned.